One, two, three. And in just ten seconds, a finished picture. And now, here's Groucho. Here's my assistant, Patty Harmon. Patty? Patty, suppose you explain what's going on. Well, this is the People's Network, and if you have something you want to buy, something you want to sell, something you want to show, or something you want to tell, just come on the show and tell it to Groucho. Well, what kind of things are people going to tell me tonight? Well, Jane Mansfield and her husband, Mickey Harkatay, are here tonight. Jane Mansfield here? Yep. I may not be able to stand it. Well, before we meet Jane and her husband, I have somebody else I want you to meet. Now, here comes a girl that will never be replaced by a push button. Denise Lohr. Thank you, Groucho. Thank you. But you have to admit that push buttons are just right for some things. And uh, there are three of them on this Polaroid 10-second automatic camera. And they really make picture-taking easy. Well, let's see how they do with a strong profile. All right. <clears throat> One, two, three. Huh? And then all I had to do was push three numbered buttons. And an electric guy sets the right exposure automatically. You never have to focus. And in 10 seconds, this is what you get. Ready? See that? Well, I'd hate to take a picture of a pretty girl and look like that. <laughs> Well, you get whatever you take a picture of, Groucho, and it always turns out perfectly. And it's not expensive, either. This model costs less than $100, and there's another compact model that costs less than $75, both with a built-in flash gun for indoor shots. So see your dealer soon. And, and tell them Groucho sent you. Goodbye, Denise. Come back and see us again sometime. I will. Thank you very much. Patty, what do you have to tell me? Well, remember what I told you about the glamour star who's here tonight? I remember, I remember, and I'm all a Twitter. Bring her out here, Patty. So would Jane and Mickey Hargitay come in, please, and tell us the grouse show. Stand up. My glasses keep fogging up on me. <laughs> I, know, I know who it was. It was good to see you, Mickey. Nice to Put see it you. There, huh? Nice to see you, Groucho. And if you feel like leaving, uh, go right ahead. <laughs> Don't worry, your wife will be in good hands. Well, the hands may be shaking, but they'll be good. <laughs> may I call you Jane, Jane? Please go ahead, Groucho. Fine. Suppose I call you tomorrow when he's not around. <laughs> well, it's good to see you both, uh, and you're both looking so well, and all dried off, too. I'm glad you dried off. <laughs> You know, I wasn't really worried about uh, you and that escapade at sea down there in the Caribbean. Jane, I just knew you wouldn't sink. <laughs> I had nothing to base this on. It was just my instincts, that's all. Now, Jane, I must admit that I've met many a glamorous movie queen, but none that could quite measure up to you. Thank you. <laughs> don't, th don't thank me. Thank the Bureau of Weights and Measures. <laughs> Mickey, what do you tip the scales at? Well, I weigh about uh, 210 pounds. No. Oh. What are your measurements? Uh, I have uh, 15 chest, 32 waist. 15 chest? 50. 50? 50. 5-0. Yeah. Who do you think you are, Jane Mansfield? <laughs> <laughs> that's not a chest, that's a trunk. <laughs> How did you kids happen to meet in the first place, Mickey? Was it, uh, was it in the second place? And why can't I find places like that to meet girls like that? Well, we met in uh, New York, up in the Catskills, at uh, oh. Brands Hotel's uh, coffee shop. 
You met in a coffee shop? That's right. That was the best coffee break you ever had. That's <laughs> sure was. But now you're happily married, and you have a lovely family. And Jane, how many children do you have? We have three children. We have a little girl, Jane Marie, who's 11. Little Is boy. she as pretty as you? Oh, she's a... Thank you. She's a very beautiful little girl. Oh, that, that, that... I can... Uh, uh, well, yes. <laughs> What do you attribute that to, that she's so pretty? Well, it must have, must have been her father or her grandmother. Oh. <laughs> but uh, then we have two little boys. How Mickey old are they? Mickey Jr. is three years old. And... Who is he named after? <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> and Zoltan Anthony is 19 months old. Uh, and how many more are you going to have? We'd like to have seven more. We'd like to have ten and all. Where do you expect to house this brood you're contemplating? We have a large enough home. Can I farm them out? <laughs> well, no, our home is large enough. It's composed of about 45 rooms, 13 of which are bathrooms. You're kidding, aren't you? There's no house out here with 45 rooms. <laughs> 13 are bathrooms. What do you need 13 bathrooms for with three kids? Do you live in a house or a locker room? <laughs> I remember years ago, ex-president Hoover said uh, something about a chicken in every pot. He didn't say anything about a kid in every bathroom. <laughs> you mean this 45-room house is just for five people? Well, we, we, we also have some pets. We're quite fond of pets. We have dogs and cats. What do you have? We have... Uh, you have a horse in one of the bathrooms? <laughs> we have two burrows, actually, but they're away at school. No. What are they like? <laughs> What boroughs are they? Is this the Bronx borough and the Manhattan borough? No, the, the, Well, what are they learning? I mean, what are they... They're uh, just learning to be better boroughs, you know. Well, what was the matter when, the, when you got them? They were just jackasses? How many uh, pets do you have of each kind? We have, uh, we have 11 dogs and 7 domestic cats and 2 ocelots and uh, 2 homing pigeons. Uh -huh. <laughs> I should have known there'd be nothing small about you. Why do you have so many pets? I don't know, guys. And what is an ocelot, by the way? An ocelot, you know, it's a, it's um, a wild jungle animal, like a tiger. Beautiful. Is he as big as a tiger? It's about 60 no, it's, pounds. It's, it's, it's quite a bit How smaller. Much? 60. How do you know? Have you weighed them personally? <laughs> well, I weigh myself with and without the ocelot. <laughs> and do they enjoy this sort of thing? <laughs> likes it, but the big one doesn't too much. No, that's, that's true. As soon as an ocelot gets real big, he doesn't want to share a scale with anyone. It's hard to look down, too, you know, when you're holding me. I'll say. I'm holding in your arms, you know. Hmm. But we have... Um... Why do you have so many pets? I, I you got think Mickey. <laughs> he likes other pets, too. You ever split a scale with Mickey? <laughs> we haven't yet. Tell me some more about this zoo of yours, huh? We, uh, this zoo, well, it's pink inside and out. It's pink? It's pink. The whole house? Yes. Forty-five room house? Yes, yes. Do you have a pool, or did you buy just a small ocean? <laughs> we, we have a pool, a heart-shaped pool, one for us, and also we have a little heart-shaped pool for our children, our boys. Uh -huh. Small heart and a big... Uh, it's uh, one large heart, and the small heart sits in the top of the uh -huh. big heart. Heart-shaped pool? I never heard of that. I've heard of round pools and square pools, even kidney-shaped pools. We have a kidney-shaped pool with stones in them. <laughs> I knew this before uh, when I did that picture with you. Uh, well, successful rock, rock hunter. hunter. Yeah, that was a pretty funny picture. You're the picture. cutest leading man I ever had yes, yet. Uh, yes, and the oldest, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're, not, you're actually, and I've told this to other people, you're not the dumb blonde that you pretend to be. And I think the people ought to know that you're really a bright, sentimental, and understanding person. And yes. this, is a whole, this is a whole facade of yours that isn't based on what you actually are. Well, that's sweet of you. Well, thank you so I, much. I think you're aware of that, Jane. This oh, is I... this is a kind of an act you do, isn't it? Oh, it's, uh, Most you know... Most people don't know that, though. I, I think that it's like this. The public pays money to the box, box office to see me a certain way, and... Uh, and they get so... their money's worth, too. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I think it's just all part of the role I'm playing as an actress. Uh -huh. Could you give us a sample of the Jane Mansfield that uh, Mansfield that most people are familiar with? Well, you know, how about walking up and down over there? And men, fasten your, uh, fasten your safety belt. <laughs> Getting so I can't talk clearly. You go over there and walk up and down, and let's see the Mansfield that everybody visualizes that doesn't know. I don't have that kind of a dress on, but I'll do my best. Well, take it. <laughs> Is that what you mean? Yes. <laughs> You know, I'm suddenly getting dizzy. <laughs> well, Jane, I know you're a pretty busy girl making pictures and personal appearances, and I heard your new record album that you made of your act in Vegas, and I must say, I enjoyed it very much. So, uh, what brings you here tonight? I, I'm here on behalf of the American Cancer Society, uh -huh. and, uh, you know, the Bowl Down Cancer Week is April 22nd through April 28th, and I would like to raise money here tonight and contribute it to the American Cancer Society. Well, let's try to make a bundle for such a worthy cause, and now here's how we're going to play the game. Do you understand this game at all? Uh, I'll try. Okay. Well, we're going to show three pictures up here, and he can help you, you know. They flash for a fourth of a second, and you identify the face when you win five hundred dollars. Is that clear? Yes. Oh, good. Very long. Well, though. Uh, well, I know, but uh, it's, it's clear. We don't use any light at all. <laughs> now, I'll explain it as we go along. Now you can talk it over. Let's have the first one. Who was it? When are you going to show a picture? <laughs> as soon as you leave. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, take a guess. I don't know. Alice? The, uh, no, I think it was Lord Dean Ross. Who? Uh, no, uh, it was uh, Anthony Eden. Very famous Anthony, face. I was you, you were close. At least you were in Great Britain, all right? I, I, I knew he looked English. Yes. <laughs> all right, well, uh, we're going to put another picture up for another 500. Now, look over here. Look at the birdie. Shoot. Who there? Mickey? Well, it wasn't you, Jamie. Carol Channing? Carol Channing is right. Oh. Now you have $500. Now you can quit and take the 500 or you can go ahead and go for 1000 But if you lose the next one, you only wind up with 250 Well, we'll try. As long okay. as it isn't Dean Rusk again. It wasn't the first time, was it? No. <laughs> and it certainly wasn't the second time. Now we're going to put another picture up. Now you're going for a thousand or two fifty. Ready? Shoot. You'll know this. I uh, bet you that fellow in the front row knows. Is it Robinson? No. We oh, can't I give any more. I think. Well, yeah, but that's not enough identification. It was Willie Mays. So you have $250, so you each have $125. And I don't think that's enough to give to the cancer fund, so we're going to make up the difference, and we're going to send them a total of $1,000. How's that? Oh, that's very sweet of you. Thank you very much. It's delightful having you. Thank you very much. Thanks for telling me. And you put on a few pounds. You hear that? And now let's step into the Dutch master's marrying room. Mr. Mark, Anne-Marie Servat is ready to talk to you. So would you come in, please, and tell it to Groucho. You're Anne, Anne-Marie Servat, huh? Yes. Very pretty name. Do you want me to call you Anne or Marie or Servat? You can call me Anne, you can call me Marie, you can call me... Both way, but um, I have a nickname. And what is it? Nanu. Nanu. Nanu of the north, you mean? Uh, Nanu of the, the south of France. You all from the south? I am from Toulouse. Well, uh, where are you coming to Toulouse? And maybe I can. <laughs> maybe I, have... I can fix it for you. Huh? I have. N I have nothing to lose. Toulouse. Oh. It's a town in France. It's about two hundred thousand people, and. Um, 
He's a very famous name from Toulouse. Maybe you heard about him. Oh, yeah, Toulouse. Toulouse Lautrec. Toulouse, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, he painted my garage a few weeks. Toulouse, you say, is in France? Yes, in the south. Oh, France. Well, where'd you go when you left Toulouse? My family and I, we went to Nice, on the Riviera. Nice, how do you spell it? In English, N-I-C-E. That spells nice, doesn't it? I in English, but E in French. Look, if the if the I is E, why didn't you say things are nice in Nice? Because in English, things are not nice in Nice. They are oh <laughs> N I C E. What did you do in Nice that isn't nice over there? Well, I was there. So one thing I used to do. And I used to love it. I used to race a sport car, very fast car. You used to wrestle a sport car? No, I used to race a sport car. You used to rest in a sport car? Race, ride, you know. You can be in a sport car. I used to drive a Pegaso, and I used to drive, a, uh, one day I drove a 160 miles an hour, and the tire blew off on the back, and I'm sitting Well, how'd you get here? Because I was a good driver, I guess. Well, why did the, the tire blew out, you say? Yes, completely, at 160 miles. I heard a noise, boom. And I said to my husband at the time, I said, uh, somebody blew the tire. And after five seconds, I realized it was me. Oh, I once blew $300 in Vegas, but that's... <laughs> well, why don't you be done that so thrilling? And be careful how you answer that, Denise. I had uh, one big experience for me, the thrill of my life. Uh -huh. I was you in... You uh, Chevalier? Toledo, Spain. Toledo, it's in Ohio. No, it's Spain, Spain. No, no. Ali? Here she goes again. Huh? <laughs> Toledo is in Ohio. No, in Toledo, Spain. I fight a bull on the you ring. You found a bull? I fight a bull, a little bull. Yeah? You know, it's a friend of mine in Spain, very famous, uh, bull because he's, no, he raised bull for the corrida. This is before you were married, huh? No, this was in the meantime. <laughs> Oh, in the winter, huh? In the meantime. Oh, you got married in the meantime? Is, is that in Italy, though? No, I was trying to bull in the meantime, but I mean, oh, well, it's too difficult to explain. Well, how about... far is meantime from where the bull was? Not too far, about 50 yards. Oh. Well, it's more of a mealtime. Mean well, what happened there? I, um... I went in the ring, you know, and I saw that little bull. Of course, he was not a big, big a bull. little bull. Yeah, but he's not... Oh, you know, he has a little horn like that. Yeah. So I took uh, the little kappa, you know, the red uh, flag that they give you, and I started to fight that bull. I was very excited. And suddenly, I didn't realize that little bull came running to me and had my uncle right in there. He, he bit your uncle? <laughs> He hurt my wrinkle, oh, he my ankle. You hurt your ankle, huh? Yes. And I bleed and blood on the end of it. Well, uh, where is your ankle? Have you got it with you? Right there. Oh, oh, your ankle. Huh? Yeah. I thought you said your uncle. No, I-N-C-K-L-E, yeah? Well, I-N-C-L-E is his ankle. Yeah. C-K-L-E! <laughs> he must have had very poor ankles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He must have had very poor aim, that bull, to bite you in the ankle. He was blind, I guess. I predict any bull who is stupid yeah. enough to hit a guy like you in the ankle will eventually wind up as a 19-cent hamburger. <laughs> I trust you've given up racing automobiles and fighting bulls there. What are you doing now for thrills and excitement? Well, Grusso, I uh, still uh, like very much uh, sport and... Uh, you I... said you were married. Well, I was. You were married. I, I, was the, I am divorced. Oh, but you're going around with uh, sports and you're married? No, I mean, no, I, mean I like sports, uh, like uh, water ski or tennis. But I still like very much men, too. Mm -hmm. Are you an authority on men? I would say that, uh, well, I am uh, an amateur expert. An amateur expert, huh? Okay. <laughs> Change of time, huh? You say you know all kinds of men. Do you, do you know my kind? Sure, Rousseau. <laughs> In that case, I won't ask the next question. <laughs> the subject is now closed. Now, I'm curious, uh, what kind do you think I am? Well, um... Besides being decadent. In, in, I don't know, just... In English, it's difficult. I, I would say in French, un peu sans rire. I mean, you have, the, you have the squeeze type of humor. You are like a lemon, you know, full of juice, but a little bit bitter. <laughs> I 
got to skin me, you know, the real me. <laughs> now, Hulk, from the way you talk, I presume you're not married, huh? Not at the present time. Not at the present. Well, couldn't we get together some evening soon over a glass of orange juice? Uh, <laughs> so I could show you what kind of a man I wish I was? <laughs> Well, Rousseau would like it very much, but, uh, um, I'm getting married, and I think I'll be in my honeymoon at the time. Well, don't... <laughs> no, I'm in no hurry. I can wait until you get back. In the meantime, I'll put myself and the orange juice on ice. Or the lemon juice, whatever it is. Now, Nanu, I'm curious to know what side of a man... What kind of a man would you choose for a mate? Where is this lucky lad? Is he in the audience? No, it's right... Back in the States, back there. Oh, you brought him with you, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm and, sorry uh, to hear that. What, what is he doing back there? Well, he's uh, waiting to come here because I think he's uh, really the one who has something to tell you. Mm. <laughs> Maybe I better leave now. Huh? <laughs> well, bring this chap out here. What, what's his name, Nanu? Leo Regan. Leo? Regan. Uh -huh. Patty, ask Mr. Regan to come out here, huh? Got friends in the audience. Uh, right. What do you do for a living, Leo? Uh, I'm an airline pilot. An airline pilot? Yes. Oh. Well, if you can fly an airplane, I guess you can handle that new. <laughs> she gets to her up, you can always bail out. Huh? <laughs> now, Nanu said you had something to tell me. Uh, what is it, uh, Leo? Well, because I travel quite a bit here in the United States. Do you I'll... leave Nanu here when you travel? Yes. Uh -huh. And quite a bit in Europe, and, uh... How long does your trips usually take you? <laughs> you fly... So I, is it a jet or a, or a propeller? It's a jet. Yes, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> you haven't got an old DC-3 you could... <laughs> now, you said... What, what is it you're going to tell me, Leo? Well, I was... Uh, going to suggest that since so many Americans go to Europe for their vacations, it would be nice for a change that maybe a few of these people who usually they go to see the country where they are from to maybe invite their relatives to come see our country for a change, but our very beautiful and wonderful place we live in. Well, Leo, how could you get more Europeans to come over here? The average European can't afford to take trips like that, can they? Well... Probably not, but uh, say a person uh, or family is going to Europe to visit their relatives, instead of spending that money on a ticket for themselves, they should uh, maybe buy the ticket and have their relatives come to our country. I'm very proud of our country, and I think more people should see it. Well, I, I think you've got a point there. You want people to bring their relatives here, and uh, most people that I know are trying to ship their relatives back to the old <laughs> Most of them don't care which old country. <laughs> Any old country. <laughs> well, it's a revolutionary idea, Leo, and it's possible you may be starting a whole new trend. And as soon as all those relatives come over here, you get your plane ready because I'm going to go over there. <laughs> now we're going to give you a chance to win some money, and here's how you're going to play the game. We're going to flash a picture up here on the screen here. Uh, three pictures in a row. And they flash for a fourth of a second. If you identify the first one together, you win $500. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Good. I'll explain it as we go along. Put the first one up, boys. Like, I didn't see uh, it. John Foster Dudley. I didn't see it. No, it was uh, Bernard Baruch. See him? Okay. Put the next one up. Now you're going for another $500. Go. This is a... Uh... Movie star. I know. know. Uh, no? I know, but. Yes, Janet Page. No, you were close. What did you say, Tennis Page? No. <laughs> no, it was Janet Blair. Janet you had the first name right, but not the way. Well, you're going to have another chance. It's your last chance to win $500. Now look clearly and sharp. Go. American man, I don't know. <laughs> Leo, you ought to know this. Go ahead and slide it up. Oh, yeah. up. President Cleveland, isn't it? That's right. President Cleveland. He was a Democrat or a Republican? He was a Democrat. And yeah, he that's was why you didn't guess it. It's all oh. Republican. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm going to give you one 
one more chance. We don't want you to go away broke. <laughs> if you get this right, we'll give you each fifty dollars. Just pray for the bus fare. That's all. Put the picture up. Shoot. Oh, it's the liberty. What is it? The Statue of the Liberty. No, I'm sorry. It's the Long Island Bridge. <laughs> but we're going to give you $50 anyhow. <laughs> oh, I thought you were Nano and Leo, you're a lovely couple. I'm sorry you didn't yeah, win more. But uh, nice to meet try you. again sometime. Right. Goodbye, and thanks for telling it to Groucho. <laughs> Here's a word about something special for denture wearers. And, and there's one other thing. Uh, I understand Fabian's going to be up here next week. So all you teenagers, be sure to join us. Good night. Jane Mansfield appeared through the courtesy of 20th Century Fox, producers of State Fair. Denture Cleanser, the soaking cleanser made especially to fight denture breath and keep dental plates clean. Polydent. Remember to be with us next week when the idol of the teenagers, Fabian, will tell it to Groucho.